Hello guys, it's Master Yard again, and we're gonna be doing uh, unit editor and unit palette right now. To do this, you just open, click on a tool palette, and select unit palette from here. Now, you get uh, a bunch of different units. If you select one of the players, up to player 12, uh, you get to choose between humans, orcs, undead, night elf, neutral, and uh, neutral naga. So, you can choose the normal units, for example, let's take orcs. You can choose, these are the melee units that you use in the normal maps. You get campaign units, the ones that only appear in campaigns and not the normal maps. And there are the Qsium units. Qsium units are those that you make. Then, there is neutral hostile and neutral passive. The hostile guys, they are the mobs that appear in all kinds of maps, you know, wolves, ogres and stuff like that. While the neutral passive are the, you know, Passive mobs like villagers and stuff like that. We're gonna take neutral hostile since they're gonna be useful for, for creeps. And to make your own Qsium units, you uh, open up the object editor right here, and there is a, a panel that appears. Okay, these are standard units, we're gonna close that because we don't need it anymore. And we're gonna make our own Qsium unit by clicking on this button here create Qsium unit. Now, if you want human, it's best to take one of the human units if you want neutral, for example, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one of the neutrals. It takes a while because this simulator loads all the neutrals at once. So, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make... Uh, where are the wolves? I like to take wolves as, as starting guys. Frost wolf, timber wolf, right. Okay, let's let's make it. He's gonna, we're gonna name him wolf. And uh, create object, the enter the desired object ID, which is just leave it as it is. And now you see all these different functions. I'm gonna start from top and show you what each of them does. But first of all, uh, if we're to notice the changes, we're gonna put uh, this unit somewhere in the map. Let's put him here. Okay, and let's make him face down here by holding control. All right, now. Abilities. Default active ability is uh, well. You can find some abilities that are always active. For example, if you ha if you have priest unit or your unit has auto cast ability, uh, just activate it up here. Then you can also do it by double clicking this unit, going to abilities tab that doesn't exist because this guy doesn't have any abilities yet. Let's just give him an ability, add ability, and let's uh, let's find a heal I mentioned before. Heal, 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 it should be somewhere on here, okay, heal, neutral, hostile, and uh, when you double click him, there's another tab, and you can put this one to default active ability, for this unit only, if you want for all the units, then select it here, okay, now that, uh, Qsium team color and stuff like this, it's just for the animation, these two are very important, backswing, cast, and cast point, if you want your wolf to, you know, like swing a lot before he casts. For example, like Crystal Maiden is doing in Dota, then you put this to quite high. However, in RPGs and stuff like that, for heroes, I recommend putting this to 0 .0, 0 0.2, sorry, and 0 0.1. So they cast quite a bit. This is the run speed animation. The higher your speed is, just put the higher animation speed. However, uh, I, I like to leave it untouched sometimes. Okay, then uh, the button positions, these are also very important. Uh, when you want to buy this unit, you need to set its position in the, you know, buying uh, tab, you know, where you get orders and stuff like that in shop. X is horizontal and Epsilon is, uh, well, Y, whatever you call it, and it's vertical. Uh, if both are zero, 0, then this unit will appear in top left corner of the buying screen. If uh, they are 1-1, one, one, then it will appear uh, one point below and one point on the side. Okay, you catch my meaning. If X is 3 and the Y is 0, then it's gonna appear in top right corner. Okay. Death time, you know, it's self-explaining... Expl uh, what? Oh yeah. Icon. Icon is very important, you choose the icon of whatever you want, you can choose units, unit special, this is uh, used in, uh, you know, screens after the game or for upgrades, 
Then you get items, you can choose abilities, buffs, upgrades and extra. Extra only uh, has these hidden icons like Admiral Proudmore if you have the new editor. We're gonna leave it like this since it's a wolf. And you get model file. Model file is very important, you can change this guy's file to glaive thrower. For example, and he's gonna be a glaive thrower. But we're gonna leave it as timber wolf. If you want to reset something, just click here and reset selected uh, to default. Okay, these are more or less. Scaling value is very important. It's the size of the unit. Double click. If you put, like, for example, 2, this guy's gonna be large. If you put it to 1, it's normal size. And selection scale is the size of this circle around him. You see this green circle? If we put it to 2, circle is bigger. 3, circle is even bigger. This is nice, for example, if you're making fountains and want it to have, uh, for example, 300 range, then you put it to 8 and this is the range that uh, fountain heals in. This is quite a nice thing to do, but we're gonna put it to 1.5, since it's a wolf. The tinting color is a nice thing, if uh, it's red, green and blue, uh, with different combinations of these you can make uh, this guy's color differently, if you put red, for example, you, uh, to 0, then you get teal wolf. If you put um, red to 100, and for example blue to 100, then you got a greenish thingy. If you put this to 0, and this to 150, for example, you got yellow. You know, or if you put this, whatever. We're going to have normal wolf. Uh, animation backswing is the same thing as it is with cast backswing, except it's for the normal animations, which so you're going to put them quite low so this guy doesn't take ages to attack and the lower the animation damage and backswing points are uh, the higher your uh, attacks per second can get with higher agility for example then you get attack type this is uh, you know the thing that appears you get chaos hero and stuff like that we're gonna leave it at normal cooldown time is time that it takes between two hits uh, and it can be increased with attack speed items, but only uh, to a certain limit, and that's 0 0.2, because that's the animation backswing uh, point. Damage base is the base damage. For example, if we make it uh, 10, then his damage is going to be 10 plus uh, number of dice and sides per die. This, this is a bit, I don't know how to explain, a bit hard to understand. If we place this to 10, uh, that means that the damage of this guy is from 10 plus 1, that's 11, to 10 plus 10. So his damage is going to be uh, from 10 to... from 11 to 20. If you want a fixed damage, just put like 9 here, one less than you want, and one on each of these. So his damage now is 10 to 10. Okay then, the projectile arc is the, the arc it, the projectile makes when it uh, attacks. If it's 0, then it's gonna go straight, if it's like 0 0.5, it's gonna go like 50 degrees angle, you know. Then projectile art, it's the missile you're gonna use, you can see that by moving um, this guy on the side, and then, for example, using unit missiles, death coil or something like that, you know. But we won't have missile because he's a, a wolf, melee wolf. Projectile speed also, it, the default is like 900 or... 100 and 1012 uh, I mean one uh, 1200 you know you know what I mean the range normal range is like 100 it's melee range okay these are useless until targets allowed these are very useful if you put like air for example he can also attack the air units and this is a weapon sound that this doesn't generally affect the game it only is, has cosmetic um, then we got weapon type. Weapon type is very important. If you are making ranged uh, unit, you must use either uh, one of these things below. Missile, for example, because if you don't, uh, no matter how big range or uh, projectile art and arc you put, you won't see animation. And you'll hear this sound of weapon instantly. Okay, combat 2. This, this was all uh, combat attack 1 and this is combat attack 2. It's the same thing like one, except you can change, for example, um, <laughs> targets allowed to just air. So when you uh, meet air units, you cannot attack them with attack one because it doesn't target air. However, you can ta attack them with this thing. This is also useful for workers. When you make workers, you place only trees attackable with this thing, and you know, 
they're gonna attack trees when they harvest them. Defense base and stuff like that, okay, that's some armor and stuff, minimum attack range, can be placed for, uh, for example, catapults and stuff like that, and this targeted as is usually the ground, air, and stuff like that. Okay, title sets, you can place this guy only on certain title sets, title sets for example, Black Citadel, but I like to keep it in all, so it's gonna be a bit easier to find. Uh, movement, you need, for example, hate is in important here if you put hate to 100 and minimum hate also then this guy is gonna be flying as you can see however let's reset this to default to zero speed base it's self-explanationary or I'm not sure how it's even said but whatever turn rate yeah movement type it's important you can make it horse <laughs> movement fly hover horse movement uh, adds the galloping sound fly movement makes you fly over obstacles, however, uh, it looks like you're flying but your ground unit float is uh, used uh, for boats for example that only can move on water and not on land and amphibious is the movement that can move both on land and water. It's like for murlocs, naga and illidan storm rage. Collosion size, this is quite important, as you can see you cannot put two units close to each other because of the collosion size however if you lower it to one for example you can place these guys you see how how many guys are so close but let's delete them and leave only one of them here okay let the uh, normal collosion should be like 20 for example for rpgs and stuff maybe less like 18 so people can pass by each other unit sound uh, you know status it's spirit wolf build time this is used for all the stats here, they're useful, uh, you know, when you build this guy and health, mana, health is, where is it, hit points maximum base and this is hit point regeneration, while mana initial amount, mana maximum and mana regeneration are here. Uh, mana maximum it's uh, how much mana you can have and initial amount is the amount of mana you spawn when you create the unit, for example, uh, in melee games, uh, Necromancers have like 400 mana and they spawn with only 200 initial amount, if you know what I mean. And levels are also important, you can find them here. As for other things, more or less, whatever. Okay, these are all the dependencies, the things they sell, the requirements, units they train, stuff like that. And down here you have their name and stuff like that. This is all the things you need to know about making units and similar things apply to destructibles, doodads and stuff like that so we won't go through them not now at least so that's all you need to know right now in next video I'll be showing you how to make abilities and the channel ability which is very useful for all kinds of stuff okay then well see you in the next video guys if you need help with any of these just check the description or if it's not there just type comment and I will answer ciao guys